Hello, good day and welcome to Latest Solution. Today we'll be looking at solving the problem of QuickTime version 7 not installing on Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows, 8, Windows 10 systems. So first of all, I downloaded um, the QuickTime. I downloaded QuickTime with my internet download manager and when I attempt running it it said QuickTime 7 requires that your computer is running Windows Vista or Windows 7 so and so the QuickTime is unable to use so to solve this problem we need to download a software named Superhooker Superhooker so this is the link to downloading the software the software is made by Pantera so you can get it from this link the link will be placed down so I downloaded the software this is the software Super Super Hawker you can see it's located here in my computer so I'm going to install the software I'm going to install the software on my computer I want to install it on the D drive of my computer or you can go with the actual settings then click on next and then you wait for the software to finish installing as you can see Superhawk at this version 11.0.01 is an MSI database editor Remember that the QuickTime file, let me show you here, when you open the QuickTime installer, let me open the folder location, you can see when you right click on it and go to property, you can see the file format, the file format is, is an MSI file, it contains an, it's an EXE file format, or when it's been extracted it contains an MSI file. And this super archive is, is an MSI database editor. So we leave the yes option, then we launch. We want to launch the super archive. We click on finish and then the super archive will be launched. The super archive will be launched. So this is the super archive. First of all, to carry out this um, solution, I will need you to bring the quick time open the file location you can either bring it to your desktop drag it to your desktop or any other location and maybe create a folder for it create a folder for it so that everything will be neatly arranged drag it in and use any form of we are, we are going to extract the file, this file. You can use any form of extraction software. We are going to use um, WinRAR here to extract the file. So you just have to click this extract file. But I want it to be extracted here since I've created a folder for the function. So I click on extract here. So after extracting the software, you go to your super OCA and click on file. You click on open. My is in the desktop. I click on the desktop, then you go, it's in the new folder. Click on new folder, and then you select the QuickTime file. The QuickTime, this QuickTime is in MSI format, so you select and you open it with your Orca. After opening it with your Orca, you scroll down, you just press on this and press L to go to launch conditions. You click on launch condition. On the left hand side of the super hooker let me enlarge it so that you can see it on the left hand side you click on l and it's going to take you to the launch condition so from here we are going to change some of the things on the long condition will come to the right hand side you right click here and then you click on alter cell click on alter cell and then you you change 603 to 604 and you click on OK you can see this is window NT 
that is version NT. NT stands for new technology and it's a format used by Microsoft to label the version of their OS and then click on OK. Then you now go to the second option that is the Buza OS version. You right click and click on Alter Cell. Here you are going to change it to Bo Bosa B user OS version. You are going to click change it to less than or equal to 10. So you are going to also press OK. So after doing this, you click on Tools and you click on Install MSI. So once you try to install, you see that software is going to install. You can see QuickTime version 7.7. .7. Actually, it's going to install. You click on Next. You click on Yes. You click on Typical. I prefer the Typical one. I don't want the shortcuts. I don't want the desktop shortcut. Then click on install. From here, you can see that this software is going to install on this system. You can see right now if you install the QuickTime version 7, my system is a Windows 10 system. As you can see, let me open the properties to show you. This is my system properties. As you can see, I'm running, I'm running Windows 10. I'm running Windows 10 Pro, and so you can see that QuickTime is installing. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for visiting Laser Solution. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel, like and follow us. Thank you. Thank you very much.